Turning to health news and the growing concern over bird flu, as it is now confirmed at 11 dairy farms in four states, seven of those in Texas. Now, earlier this week, uh, even the largest egg producer in the country, located in the Texas panhandle, had to put down one and a half million chickens. And a Texas ranger also tested positive for the virus. I want to bring in our medical expert, Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health. And Dr. Winter, tell us more about this bird flu. How serious is this? Well, this bird flu, avian, avian flu, we call it, it's been living symbiotically, peacefully with birds for years. Doesn't seem to bother the birds, but now it's into chickens. That's a concern. Bigger concern, it's into cattle. Not only that, but there's a Texas farmer, Texas cattleman, actually, who came down with bird flu. So we're worried that it's spreading from birds to other people and mm. animals. Hmm. So definitely sounds concerning. Is this the first time that this virus has spread to humans? Well, there's been a smattering of cases reported in Asia through the years. Those aren't very well confirmed. The only other American to get this was a Colorado cattleman. That was two years ago. We're not sure where he got that, but the concern is maybe from cattle also. That's a concern, but also we now have found it, or the scientists have found it, in sea lions. They found it in penguins. They found it in polar bears. So is it spreading well, to cattle, to humans? Is that going to be another spread for this virus? We worry about that, Tachara. Oh, my goodness. What are the symptoms of bird flu when it is found in humans? Yeah, the two Americans we know very well about, they had red, itchy eyes. The cattleman in Texas, he said he felt pretty fine. The one in Colorado felt a little achy. So not a serious illness in those people. So we hope that's going to be the end of it. But so far, not bad for us. Bad for birds, though, and bad for cattle, it seems to be. Yeah, and then you, you talked about those cattlemen. Obviously, they're dealing with animals probably fairly often. What should we all do um, to protect ourselves from the bird flu, let's just say, if we're not out actually dealing with animals? Yeah, the CDC has, has said very strongly they're not concerned about this in humans right now. They're watching it very carefully. As birds fly north in the springtime, as they do, they're going to watch it, it spread with the birds. They're watching cattle. They're watching poultry. Uh, it's pretty clear though now you cannot get this from pasteurized milk, not from cooked mag, uh, meat, not from eggs. And the CDC also says that to make a vaccine for this bird virus would be pretty easy. They're not encouraging that right now, but that's the next step if we have to do that. So far, just two Americans, but it's in the cattle, so we've got to watch it mm -hmm. carefully. And I'm happy you mentioned that note about eggs because a lot of folks were wondering when all of those chickens were, were killed and, uh, you know, they found bird flu on that farm, whether or not it could transfer to the eggs that were already there. So thank you so much for mentioning that note. Dr. Winter, appreciate your time this morning. You bet. Good to be with you. Thank you, Deshara.